You never know where and how certain countries' peculiarities will manifest themselves. Uh, believe it or not, but I struck on a source, a curious source of insights into such peculiarities. They are potato chips or crisps. These snacks are extremely popular worldwide and are versatile when it comes to adaptation to local tastes. Uh, yes, there are certain um, universal flavors like uh, sour cream, cheese and onions, uh, ready salted uh, and so on. But because, or precisely because they are universal, they are boring. However, those that appeal to local palate are the most interesting and uh, they are true guides into country's uh, character and, uh, and its whims. So many years ago when I first went to London I encountered this um, and it really surprised me. Vinegar flavored chips. I mean, Russian's vinegar is a synonym of something that is revolting and capable of turning inedible anything it touches, a kind of the Midas touch. But still I like them, and more than that I got obsessed, so every time I went to London I then bought some and uh, brought them back to Moscow. And uh, my friends actually liked them. And that really surprised me. Still there were other exotic flavors in London like Worcester sauce or um, prawn cocktail. Uh, I would say that I liked some but there were certain types that I didn't. Um, still I then observed the same situation in many countries of the world and uh, in this video I will present you some local Russian flavors that potentially reveal more than just a bizarre taste. So, although they didn't make a taste of vodka still, uh, they came up with a close second symbol of Russia and this is, of course you guessed it, red caviar or krasnay kra. In Russian psyche, red caviar goes hand in hand with crab meat or krab probably in Russian, and voila, we have it. To my mind it uh, reminds prawn cocktail type, even the color of the pack is similar, it's pinkish. And what else do they have in Russian Far East? You guessed it, salmon. And here we have it, salmon in dairy milk sauce, yes. And we also have our own equivalent of barbecue flavor, shashlik or shish kebab, as it is known in the wider world. It is roasted with friends and family. When you are in the country or in your dacha or on a picnic in park. Another big obsession of Russians is uh, or are mushrooms. Well, Eastern Europeans also share this passion with us and um, uh, we like to have them in hundreds of ways. Uh, and of course, uh, crisps manufacturers couldn't let this affinity pass unnoticed. So they developed a couple of tastes. Most prized, prized of them all is um, the white mushroom or belly grip or as Wikipedia suggests, uh, penny bun. Here you have them in sour cream. And its competitor came up with a, another popular mushroom, little foxes or lisichki, known in, in English as chantail. Russians like them fried, and I know that Swedes uh, like them too. And now we're entering uh, a territory of uh, less familiar tastes. Uh, it opens with this one, dill or ukrop. Uh, Russian cooks are too generous with it and they sprinkle it over all the meals they cook, uh, be it soup, uh, 
salad, main or even sushi. So no surprise, uh, foreigners which got fed up with it set up a dill haters Facebook community. And dill flavor, uh, flavor follows us to the next uh, guest, which is this one. Malasolne Agurci, traditional companion of vodka shot. These are cucumbers that were mildly salted or pickled anywhere from several hours to a couple of days. They are made from fresh, crisp uh, cucumbers and thus uh, are a season, uh, seasonal snack. Uh, they differ greatly from your um, pickled uh, uh, cucumbers and they are sweet and fragrant. Russian football player Andrei Arshavin is popular or rather notorious for advertising them on TV. He currently sits on bench in Arsenal, London. And another one is, uh, is a guest from my previous video on dairy products. It's uh, smoked cheese, but this one looks uh, rather like Chechil cheese. This positioned as beer snack, what the real smoked cheese certainly is. And the last one here is probably the most exotic to you. Jellied meat uh, with horseradish or хладец с хреном. It's pungent. Horseradish here in the bowl is hot if used deliberately and these two flavors, these and the previous one, are positioned as male snacks. But in itself хладец this jellied meat is, uh, is a snack absolutely worth trying when in Russia. So, as you saw, there are many ways to look into countries' uh, unique features. Unique features. And uh, its food is certainly one of the most rewarding. Thank you for watching and goodbye.